Hey guys, it's Hema here. And no surprise, my chart of the week is oil futures given the recent events in the Mideast. Today is Monday, September 16th, 2019. Before we take a look at the all important charts, important reminder that trading and investing can be extremely risky business. Therefore, it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion, advice, or other content contained in this video. Okay, so I'm starting with a crude oil chart on a weekly time frame. So that's NYMEX light sweet crude oil. And every single candlestick represents one week of price action. I have RSI power zones at the bottom. Before I get into the technicals, I want to make a couple of broad points about the impact of the attacks on the Saudi oil production in the Middle East on Saturday, September 14th. Number one, I personally, as a technician, study of the markets and also an oil investor, believe that this will have an impact for weeks, if not months. This is in part because of the infrastructure that goes into getting oil to the ground. Until I became an oil investor personally, my husband and I did not understand how complicated it can be. So when something goes awry or is blown up, it's not so simple to just get it up and running again. Number two, that impact on prices is not necessarily going to be a straight shot up to you know multi-year highs in oil, okay? There will be likely uh, dips and pauses along the way. So if this is something that um, is affecting your portfolio, if you're a crude oil futures day trader, again, my personal experience tells me that this is going to be something that can be navigated over time. And the third, is that remember, not all oil is alike. There's not just crude oil. There's so much more. There's natural gas, there's gasoline. There's a lot of things in the energy complex that will be affected by this. So I'm going to be doing deeper reviews of those every time I'm meeting with my students. So this happens to be a week where we have our monthly live bonus sessions for all of my uh, products and services. So the full skinny lifetime, four zones RSI coverage system, and market timing. So if you're not already a student and you want to be able to sit in on those review sessions to hear my really detailed take on the energy markets um, over the coming uh, months, then go ahead and um, get access to those. So now let's come back to the analysis. All right, I have a clean weekly chart on purpose because I want to show you that there has been a clue here with momentum building for some time over the last few weeks regarding the fact that an explosive move is coming. It did fall in line with price coiling, meaning having lower lows, but also, sorry, lower highs, but also higher lows. And inside of that price action, students of mine who study the RSI power zones in depth know that with what's going on between the price action I'm highlighting here and momentum down below, there was a clue that oil was more likely to move higher as opposed to lower, okay? So there's a lot of value in what we pull from the RSI power zones, including signals on top of them. Now, in terms of how to navigate this in the short term, I'll move to a daily chart. So here's the daily chart of oil futures the last time I touched this chart. I haven't moved any of my analysis because this is such an important time. I wanted to do it live with you. Okay. So I did some calculations off on the side. And now I'm going to live in front of you move my support and resistance levels to where I think we really need to keep our eyes, okay? So I'll start with resistance levels or potential price ceilings. Remember, a potential price ceiling is just a potential. Price could just blow right through it. Or it could come there, pause, and give you a chance to manage whatever your trade position is. So the two resistance levels that have been on this chart have clearly been blown out by today's price action. Now that's just one day we don't know what will happen over the next couple days but my guess is that we're going to see further upside so two of the obvious price levels are recent highs this is really a fundamental well i should not say fundamental but really um core technical analysis is looking at old price levels so the most recent old highs on the continuous contract chart okay is may 20th and from april 24th 64.29 and 67.12. Now, in between those and outside of those, I'm going to add a couple more levels. So another calculation I did, and I'll go through this in depth with my students, is 
6394. Now 6394 comes very close to 6429. So it creates a zone of resistance, meaning sort of reinforcing that potential ceiling even more. So this essentially has me thinking that once price gets to the $64 area, it's likely to hang out, even if it's just for a bit. As it continues higher, 6712 is the next uh, objective. And then beyond that, something bigger picture, but I don't think we might get to for a while, is the following. And that's 7285. And again, I'll detail that uh, with my students as a review and as price action gets closer. So that covers some of the resistance, not all, but some of the resistance I want you to keep an eye on given the latest emergence of this news. Now, remember, I said that I had not touched this chart over the weekend or anything, and then this news happened, right? This event happened. Take a look at something insanely cool, guys. See this trend line? Now, it's a tentative trend line because it's only touching two price points, not three. But this trend line joining October 2018 and April 2019 highs, if you want to trade oil, observe oil, anything, You've got to draw that trend line because look, even though it was not touched as resistance recently, it was extremely useful on September 10th. We approached and it backed away. And look at where today's price action gapped higher, guys. Okay? Right above the trend line. A complete floor to today's intraday action. I mean, that is the beauty of technicals and price analysis is that even when these crazy world events happen, there's still analysis tools that can help you navigate it. And again, these two lines I had on this chart, even before hearing about or knowing or the event happening of Saudi oil tanks being destroyed, okay? Now, what are the support levels to monitor? Very most important is this old high from September 10th. 5876 is gonna be vitally important. So is the gap that is now created since last Friday's range. So that's a price of 5568. After that is Friday's low. These are the three most important levels to watch in the short term for oil futures. So that's what I wanted to highlight here, guys. Number one, that a technical tool that pre-existed a physical live news event still provided useful analysis, this falling trend line, that the RSI Power Zones indicator on the weekly chart, as I showed you, provided a hint if you knew what you were looking for, that oil is more likely to go up than down. And now here are some key price levels for you to keep an eye on. So I'll read them off one more time. 63.94, 64.29, 67.12, and 72.85 for resistance. 58.76, 55.68, and 54 for support. All right, and I'm gonna get into more detail and stay up on this over the next couple weeks and months in my review sessions with my students. All right, catch you guys later. You can sign up at hemaready.com forward slash tribe gift to get access to more hot, timely, and actionable market analysis.